Hey y'all, hope you're doing good. This is a new view for you guys. You've never been into my kitchen before. So <laughs> I know you're like, oh wow, that was worth the wait. But anyway, today I am making a vegetable pot pie. You can always make a chicken pot pie if you want to. I'm a vegetarian, so I'm actually just going to do a vegetable pot pie today. But it's really healthy and I wanna show you what I'm putting in it. It has broccoli. It has vegetables. And if it looks like they are not in this bag, you are absolutely correct. They are over there in that bowl. I picked up a bag of corn. I may have overdid it just a little bit with the vegetables, but you know. And one more bag of mixed vegetables. So if anything else, we'll have extra stuff to make another one. <laughs> so anyway, the pie crust I used was the Pillsbury pie crust right here. And that is located right around, at least at my grocery store, where the milk is in that refrigerated section. It's not in the freezer section like you would think it to be. But it says keep dough refrigerated and it comes with two rolls. One roll looks just like this. And I have all my vegetables right here. I'm gonna show you all together. Y'all, I don't know what thing this thing's supposed to do. It looked like a back scratcher to me, but apparently this is a utensil. So we gonna use it to mix up the stuff. And I have a couple of jars of my cream of celery open. So this is gonna be like the base. I'm gonna pour this into the vegetables. I'm gonna put the dough down. I'm gonna pour the vegetable mixture in. I'm gonna put the dough over it, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven. So these are probably gonna be pretty funny cook with me is because one, cooking is not my thing, but I like to eat and it's important to know how to do. I really think it is. I want to learn how to cook too, so if I have kids one day, I can teach them how to do this. I did not learn how to cook ever until I was like a teenager and I had to figure it out to be able to survive and make like a basic thing. I lived off TV dinners, I lived off fast food. So guys, I understand the struggle and these cook with me's are not gonna be hard. I will not bring you anything hard because Lauren knows I can't make anything hard. So, I, oh I can make it hard if it's easy though. Let me talk about that. <laughs> anyway, let's start off by pouring our cream of celery into here. Don't you just love when you're just like, I'm gonna pour it and that happens and you're just like, there it is right there. So apparently I gotta use my spoon. Got a spoon to get that out. I might have to get a regular spoon. That's really stuck in there, isn't it? Some textures just freak me out. Does texture freak y'all out? Like some stuff just just like why they gotta make it this consistency? But it tastes good. Oh, so another thing. Another fun thing about my videos, y'all are going to hear my dogs in the living room. So I know y'all have waited so long for that. <laughs> anyway, um, y'all will truly see Daisy in her pure form when I cook and the UPS truck drives by. At some point, I promise you. She is 150% Chihuahua. And she is a sweetheart and she is my baby, but Lord have mercy can that dog bark. I'm glad I got three cans of this, y'all, because I got so much vegetables, I don't even know if I got enough cans of this cream of celery. Alright, so I'm going to, like, mix this in. Let's see. It's mixing in pretty good, but I'm definitely going to need some more. You know, I don't think I actually need this one. I don't know. I just feel like it's too much utensils. cream of celery off my finger because it dropped onto it. Don't make that mistake. Don't do that. It doesn't taste good unless it's cooked, apparently. Okay, so I'm going to hold this up so you can see how it's getting all mixed in. Like this. I'm going to do another one. Always make sure you wash your hands before you cook. I know that that sounds incredibly basic, but you would be surprised, guys the things that sometimes we forget so first and foremost make sure those hands are very clean especially if you're just like went to the store and you touch the buggies and stuff like y'all know that flu's been going around like you just need to make sure you are completely safe and germ free when you're doing this because a lot of times we're cooking for other people too okay this looks a lot 
lot better now. I just gotta get it all mixed and together. Tell me about what you guys cook. Like, what do you like to cook? What is your favorite food? What are some things you'd like to see me try to cut? Um, I would ask that if you have a request, it be at least vegetarian. And it doesn't have to, like, say vegetarian. But, like, just not have fish or meat in it because I do not eat those um, at this point in my life. And I say at this point because you never know. I mean, you never know, but I've been doing this for several months. Like, I feel like it's been, like, eight or nine months now. And I'm still going strong with it. So... I don't miss meat like I used to. I used to love meat. I used to love a good hamburger, you know? Especially if I had cramps or something, I had to go out and get that cheeseburger with the lettuce and the tomato and the onion. I'm gonna start missing meat again as I talk about it, but I don't anymore like I used to. There is no way to mix this up pretty. Like, you can't, you can't do that. Like, this is a, a lot of vegetables with some sauce on them. So, I'm just trying to make sure all the vegetable got something on it. And it's thick, so, you know, it's a little bit difficult. But, I think that three, three cans is good for the amount of vegetables that I got. But just eyeball it. I mean, I'll hold it up one more time, close up so you can see. I mean, I think it's good. It's pretty coated. So, let's hope so. Alright, this looks easy, but I just have this feeling that this is going to be more difficult than it looks. That always happens. Things just, have you ever gotten those Pillsbury biscuits that say, like, just unroll them, and they all, like, stuck together? And you're like, how am I supposed to pretty unroll them like they did on the commercial? My dogs almost ate a roll of dough just then, almost went flying. Anyway, looks like a taco. Don't eat it. That's a whole lot of calories right there, probably. So, we're going to switch places. I'm just using this pan. I can't even see the name pan. There it is. It's a 9 by 13 inch pan. Put it right here. And i got to try to unroll this. Which, okay, it's coming. Thank you, Jesus. It's rolling out. Oh, we're gonna be okay. We got this. <laughs> Look at it. It's a big circle. Okay, so now I gotta put it down in here. But very, 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 very important. So before I did that, I used my spray. <clears throat> and the spray I hauled today for my grocery haul is this one right here. And it's the Smart Balance Original No Stick Cooking Spray, non GMO. It's supposed to be super healthy for you. It sprayed out really nicely. Like, it just had a really good, you know, spray to it. I spray that in first, so do that, because if you forget that step, you're going to have fun trying to get your dough off your tray. I promise you that right now. That's going to be an experience. We're going to put it that way. So, now what I'm doing is I'm just kind of pressing the dough to try to get it to cover the bottom of the pan. Sorry if that's super loud. You know, I just, I don't cook, you know, and... I don't watch cooking shows either, and I, to be honest with you, I don't want to watch cooking vlogs. Unless, like, somebody that, like, is one of my favorites is cooking, I'll watch it. Like, one of my last ones I saw, and I know I reference her a lot, guys, and I'm not trying to, like, put her above everybody else or anything, but she's one of my first channels that I ever followed before I started a YouTube channel, and that was Crafty Girl, and she shows how to make basic food sometimes on her channel, and she shows, like, French toast and yogurt parfait. She's done some other, like, really simple. She did, like, a, a, a veg vegetable or chicken dip or something one time with the chips. And she makes cooking look so much fun. And um, it inspires me to want to do it because she also makes it look really easy. And I know it's important to learn how to do this. So you can get it as intense with this dough as you want to. I mean, I could stay here all day and try to, like put it all over the glass, but the reality is this is like not the thickest piece of dough and I don't want to like tear it. So I am going to sit here for a minute and just kind of mold it to the side and pull it up. But it's like working with Play-Doh. There's no wrong way to do this, you know? I mean, you got dough on the bottom of your tray, then you're doing good. Don't panic. I start panicking when things get like stuck together, you know, or you ever had that situation where your can opener don't work and you got a can and you can't get the stuff out and you're all like 
survival mode like what would they do in the wilderness how would I get this out knocking it against something you know like I've had some funny situations all you know what I got for Christmas was a can opener I'm not kidding you I requested it you know one of those electric ones so I don't got to turn it no more I can't tell you how valuable that is to me because I have worked with some awful can openers and every time I want to make something I can't get my stuff out of my damn jar. So that ain't helpful. Y'all ever seen Martha Stewart have that problem? Where she can't get her food out of what she's trying to get in it? You know, she didn't do that. Anyway, okay. This place is good. I'm gonna go with this. We're just being real today. So, do y'all see that? That's just me pressing it down, pulling it, and if it tears, it's okay. Just use your hands and smooth it out. It's a crust, guys, and when you take it out, it's gonna break. So, it does not have to look like a piece of artwork. Okay, so, now comes the part where we put this in. Let me see how I can do this. This is, do y'all see this ball? It's so big. I'm gonna hold it like this. Let's see. Okay, that ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna move. So we're gonna try it a different way. I'm gonna actually scoop it out Because these are frozen vegetables, so it's a little bit hard to work with. So do y'all see that? I'm just putting it down in the pan and spreading it around. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done Another good tip to tell you to do this. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna love looking back at this first cooking video and being like girl You got a lot going on. Um is to look make sure you have set your oven to preheat before you even get started because if you're really hungry and you forget to do that you're gonna be waiting a minute I mean it, it's not the end of the world by any means if you forget because this girl forget all the damn time but if you want to make it you know ready or if you have people over it's a good idea to make sure you preheat your oven now Usually I think it's between 350 and 400 for like a pizza or like something like this. So I have mine on 400 and I'm probably going to leave it in there maybe for around 30 minutes, maybe. We'll see. I'm going to watch it, but the goal is for it to heat up, for the crust to get a, like a golden brown color. Yeah, I could probably make a smaller one after this one if I wanted to. The thing is, I don't know if I have any extra crust, so... To be honest with you, I'm just going to jam pack this with vegetables as high as I can get it. Because the more vegetables, the better it is for you. And y'all, I'm sorry I don't have that editing software where I can like play music and switch slides when something goes wrong. But to be honest with you, I think so many people uh, appreciate the non-editing. Because there's such an overwhelming amount of editing. And I'm not putting editing down by any means. But... I just think it's refreshing when I see channels that don't have a lot of editing. Like, I know 45 and Fab, she's a wonderful channel, beautiful person to follow. I've loved her channel for a very long time, and she's done some great cooking videos where she doesn't have, like, the professional lighting. She doesn't have, you know, at least in those videos. I think that she is stepping it up with some editing lately because I swear I saw on one of her videos it looked like she had added a little editing in and it looked really good and I'm happy for her. But her cooking videos that were not edited, they're just fun because I'm like, girl, I feel you. That's me in the kitchen. Like, they're hilarious and they're great. So, I'll link her below along with Crafty Girl because she's just really cool and she does car vlogs where she talks about her life and checks in with you and... Some people just have a naturally sweet soul and I believe everybody has a soul you know I do but do you know what I mean like when you're watching somebody on YouTube and you can just like you can feel the kind of person they are I don't know if I'm like super strange for saying that but I've always gotten like energy vibes from people and you know I'm, I'm a Christian and you know nothing's weird or unusual let me rephrase that I'm I can be weird but nothing's like, I'm not get gifted, as you would say. I'm not a psychic or anything like that. But I've always been able to sense people's kindness. Like, do you ever have, like, a pet that has gotten around a person before and just, like, really started barking at them or, you know, hissing or making you really uncomfortable and you're like, 
it made you think. It made you think a little bit more about that person. You, maybe you were a little bit more standoffish because maybe they felt something that was like warning you. So, I don't know. Y'all tell me I'm not like, I haven't lost money of mine, but that's kind of how I feel about it. I know y'all are like, what are you even doing? But I think you can see it a little bit right there. I gotta figure out this lighting. Like, I could turn on the kitchen light, but I feel like it would be too bright and you wouldn't see this well, so. We're gonna experiment, guys. Today I didn't use it, and I'm not gonna refilm this because y'all think I'm gonna pour this back in there and put the put the crust back down. Y'all got nothing coming. That ain't gonna happen today. I already went to the store. I'm already exhausted. You know, going to the store can be pretty tiring because you gotta look around and figure out what's on sale and then what makes sense to buy and what you're about to spend. It, the whole process is quite overwhelming. At least for me. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna get all them vegetables out of here. I'm gonna not waste nothing. Get all them corns. There they go. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm gonna hold it up for you so you can see. And then we're gonna do the final step. Alright. Get the hair out of my face so I don't get like stuff stuck all over my face. Hold it up for you. So that's what we got right now. See how many vegetables? That is loaded with vegetables, y'all. That's the pie crust right there. And the pie crust all on the bottom. Loaded. If you wanted to, you could probably just cook it like that. But I always have the second crust because it just makes it good and it makes it look visually good to me. I'm a very visual person. Let's hope that this one does the same thing, okay? Let's hope. We're doing good so far. I'm on 17 minutes, so, you know, if I was not filming this, maybe I could have made that faster, but, uh oh, I smushed the end a little bit. I hope that didn't mess things up. Here you go. Okay. Ooh, I look like I'm tired in this video. Isn't it funny when you get up to the camera and you're just like, what are you thinking getting on video looking at like a hot mess? But, uh, y'all see me, it's whatever. I wear makeup, but not makeup, but you know, it just melts off in the sun in South Carolina. Alright guys, we got it. So yay, another circle. That's what you want, a good circle. If it don't roll out for you guys, the only thing I could think to tell you is to use a flour to help it unstick, but I think this did pretty well, I mean, considering. So I'm going to pull it a little bit because I want this to cover a lot of it. You see how I'm pulling it? I just hope it won't break in half or nothing, but it's coming. Let me see. All right, I'm going to cover it. Can you see me? Yeah. And you might have to get your hands a little bit messy here, guys. And look, it's okay if you need to pull off the sides. If they drape over and you want to pull them off to use them as, like, extra, that's good. Let's see. Remember, this is not going on TV. It's okay. Well, technically, I'm kind of on TV, but you know what I'm saying. We ain't cable right now. We gonna work out to that. Just kidding. <laughs> if I have a cable show, it ain't gonna be cooking. Let's see. I can maybe do a DIY show. To be honest with you, y'all enough for me. A uh, cable show would be millions watching me. And I'm, I might be watching them too. You ever see those people on the stage that are like cooking and they have like an audience? I'd be sweating bullets. I'd forget how to cook macaroni and cheese. Then there would go my, my sitcom. Alright, I'm working towards it. My granddad would be proud of me. He he loves to cook and he is almost 90 years old and to this day he always makes sure something is hot in front of us when we come to his house. And it usually has about, he there's usually at least three or four different items that he has and they're always delicious. And I believe his mom taught him to cook and he's always been a caretaker and take taking care of everybody, definitely including me, <laughs> not limited to me in any way. So right now I'm trying to be a perfectionist and fix this dough and it's just, like I told you guys, it's dough, so don't get crazy. I 
wish like I had a tiny bit more to work with, but we don't want to be here all day with dough. See, there's a side right here. You can't see nothing. Decide right on the side. I'm trying to fill that in right there. I don't know if y'all want to hang out with me for 20 minutes to watch me make a vegetable pot pie, but if you did, I appreciate it. Y'all make it fun, you know? And you should laugh when you're cooking because everything that goes wrong is pretty funny. And see, I'm touching all over this. You're touching all over your food, and that's normal. There's no way to not touch this, guys. You can't wear oven mitts and make this. So more reason for you to make absolute sure that your hands are clean when you do this. guys well I think I have it close enough to what it's going to be <laughs> so one last look before I put it in the oven and I'm also going to like slit it in the middle so if there's like some steam or something I've seen that done before with pie I don't really know if people do it with chicken pot pie but I think they do so I'm just going to cut like a little x I think I cut into a piece of broccoli Okay. If nothing else, it looked like a Christian pie and got across it. <laughs> All right, guys. I don't think that I'm going to put tin foil over it because it's going to just heat up and cook the crust and get a little bit brown. So when I watch it and see how long it takes to cook, I will definitely let you know in the information below how long I cooked it for and the ingredients to be able to make this. Also, too, um, I will put the picture of it, how it turns out, in the thumbnail so you can see that. I'll also put it on Instagram. So I super appreciate y'all hanging out with me to cook. Thank you so much. And if you enjoy this video, if you thought it was fun or whatever your view is, be sure to put it below. If you want me to make more with you guys, I will. And I'll see you soon. Bye.